Hello guys and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. As you saw last week we had a great trading week. Lots and lots of uh, the forecast came to play and it was an amazing one. So I'm uh, looking forward for the upcoming week to keep this momentum going. So while I roll the interim disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, a quick look at the calendar and as you see there is some uh, major impact event that you need to keep an eye at for next week. I will not go in the details but it is uh, pretty much a lot going on so um, again always always uh, keep your eyes on the news event before you start your trading day and uh, maybe trading week as well. We will start with the Dixie chart as we always do and uh, as you see on the weekly chart we still um, see that uh, the Dixie was uh, moving to the upside uh, here um, but um, not um, have the enough momentum to keep making highs so last um, high was here and we've got this little rejection. Uh, and we start moving to the downside so there is still that uh, risk of seeing this uh, potential move to the downside if the dollar to really uh, break below uh, this uh, trend line we have here so uh, on the daily time frame as you saw uh, last week uh, after this rejection from this level here we've got um, move to the downside retest higher and continuation and the Dixie is sitting now at a key level of interest where we have this trend line here uh, monthly s1 and uh, this previous highs area which is an important level as we know we had a lot of trouble at these uh, at this level uh, previously so uh, what we should be watching here is of course uh, how the market will uh, react at this uh, trend line will it break or will will um, are we going to get a bounce here? I think the first thing short term is uh, possibly a, a bounce to the upside, at least a retest of this area to then maybe start looking for um, a, a dip from this level here. In any case, for more downside for the dollar, if we have a break below this uh, trend line, then we are going uh, down for a, a bit longer term so uh, you see how important this trend line is you need to keep an eye on that this will be your biggest clue if it's broken then we pushing down again toward 9750 area oil and as i told you last week guys uh, it was um, rejected a couple of times it start um, <laughs> pushing higher um, during the uh, during the week and uh, we've got a, a nice break of the neckline uh, break like this retest and right now the continuation all that was based on what been happening in the stock market um, since we had um, a uh, phase one deal uh, with uh, China so uh, that's why we've got uh, a nice and strong bounce in the market so it was all about and it will be all about uh, uh, the trade deal uh, that is uh, happening and uh, let's not forget it is only a phase one deal so the we don't have a dean done yet done yet but if that s same sentiment continues i think uh, we could um, uh, keep looking to buy the dips on oil uh, in any case any retest back toward this level could be a possible area to look for uh, a buy or if we get a break like this a continuation to the upside then we look for continuation from the retest also so very nice rounded bottom look for the uh, possible correction it could be a possible cup and handle scenario here a retest to this level would uh, be a good level to look for the completion of the handle of that cup and uh, possibly a continuation to the upside let's not forget to keep an eye on the market sentiment for gold i mentioned that we have a possibility to keep pushing to the downside uh, for many reasons uh, the biggest one is of course the better market uh, sentiment uh, especially about trade war and um, then we had uh, the first rejection here uh, happened uh, 
the week before last week and then uh, we had this uh, bearish engulfing candle ending the week to then last week see the gold pushing lower trying once again to reach this uh, trend line and the 200 moving average and then it was uh, game over and it collapsed but right now it is testing a key level of support so you need to keep an eye on this area we know that this level been acting as nice support previously look how many times it's been tested but let's not forget this level previously got actually broken by this and the question if we are gonna get another move like this continuation in this channel so um, um, I think we could look for a sell from uh, uh, these areas here on uh, gold next week, especially if we keep have the same market sentiment. So you could draw your Fibonacci retracement tool here. And it seems like uh, the uh, 618 is at, at a good level where we have the previously broken structure uh, down here. So um, look for a possible retest to this level and continuation to the downside curiously also as i mentioned last week there was a possibility for a continuation and i told you guys uh, if we get a retest of this level and it holds look for a possible push higher to then be aware of the uh, important trend line we have here so on the daily time frame we do have actually now a break above that uh, trend line and um, weekly time frame uh, we do not see a major change in the direction of the market yet. We're still making uh, lower lows and lower highs. But for now, this break above uh, the trend line, break above previous high could signal possible bullish continuation uh, toward um, uh, this area up here, 1.1120, going to be an important level and it could be the possible market objective after breaking this uh, trend line. So, um, for our we still uh, have um, possible continuation here look for any uh, retest toward this area to then look for uh, bullish evidence uh, to buy in um, this time here the most important level uh, for now the short term important level is this previous low down here so keep watching that any retest to that area that failed to break below it you want to look to buy so buy the dips and sterling uh, been moving like a rocket and that is of course uh, because of the uh, brexit news and that we do have um, renewed hopes of a deal and uh, we have uh, a very um, important uh, event uh, next week to keep an eye at and those are uh, the talks that have been intensified uh, very strongly between um, uh, Europe and the UK so that's why uh, we see the, the sterling uh, moved very strongly to the upside breaking uh, previous highs as well and did reach the 200 moving average on the daily time frame in a very very fast mode so uh, what to do here uh, after that is of course always uh, the same case we need to wait for uh, some correction yeah it is a uh, very extended move and if this would be our last high it could be uh, a good idea to uh, start looking for uh, a fibonacci retracement i would say at least 38.2618 would be even better how fast will that happen or uh, or not uh, all depends on um, how the Brexit headlines uh, will uh, will be um, in the upcoming week. So uh, if you remember uh, last week in the weekly overview, I told you that we have a Fibonacci retracement to 618, which was a very interesting level. And we've got that uh, move toward um, 618. And from that area, this whole thing started to moving very, very fast. So again, wait for uh, some correction i would say uh, a correction toward this area would not be enough for me but that could be the case if you get even more um positive headlines about um about um a deal and um if that is the case no technicals will stop it yeah in any case we are now looking for a correction at least the 38.2 fibonacci replacement to then start looking to buy 
Um, USD Jappy, another uh, great forecast from uh, last week's um, overview, and uh, we've been talking about that um, UJ did reach a key level of um, support here, and uh, it was time to start looking for a possible bounce from this area. We've got that, we've got the retest, and we've got the continuation. A great trade. Um, uh, last week i took the trade uh, closed at uh, 108 but it did continue a little bit more here as you see so it is now at a key level of uh, resistance and it is uh, the place to wait and see if we're gonna have a break out of that or not so uh, as for now since we are uh, trading at this level uh, i would say wait for some um, correction first uh, from this level look for uh, some kind of correction to the downside to then try to buy the dip especially if um, we get more uh, good news about uh, the trade war between uh, China and the US another way to play it is you want you wait for a break above this area to then look for the retest and target the uh, 110 area as well and USD chief, um, you remember this um, uh, trend line I mentioned on the four hour time frame. So after retest of this uh, key level down here, we had the first bounce to the upside. And um, I told you guys in the weekly overview last week to really keep an eye on this uh, area because we had the trend line, the 200 moving average on the four hour and the horizontal support and resistance. So the first touch was uh, a nice bounce to the upside to then make another attempt that failed to uh, break below to then push higher. Right now where the market is testing at the moment is a pretty interesting level because that could be seen as a break, retest and we should look for another attempt to reach a previous high so look for possible uh, bullish evidence in this area to look for a buy target these highs up here um, it is an important level here of resistance since we've got rejected many times so you need to target that uh, as first uh, take profit uh, in my opinion USD CAD, finally <laughs> the move uh, happened after um, shaking out um, some shorts here and uh, you um, remember we've been talking about that uh, short trade and um, that I closed mine but I re-entered again so the, the uh, if I remember the the main idea was uh, with a stop loss above this high so we uh, that never got reached but i closed my trade the first time because uh, the market broke actually above this high here and uh, i was afraid we're getting a retest and continuation but uh, what happened here was uh, last week on the uh, the continuation we failed to make a new high and that was followed by a nice uh, bearish engulfing candle here on the four hour add to that a uh, great bearish divergence on the uh, rsi that was uh, enough signal to uh, go uh, short here another uh, thing that added to that is a break and retest on the one hour and then we've got those uh, great uh, employment number from the CAD which made uh, the whole move my uh, take profit was down here so I'm out of the trade and now we reach it yearly pivot point which is an important level at least short term it's been acting as nice support so keep an eye on that for a possible uh, for a possible bounce here back to the uh, to the upside okay so um, nice move lower uh, if we keep getting also good sentiment uh, in the market i would say look for uh, a correction higher here toward around the monthly pivot point and the 200 moving average on the four hour to start looking for some kind of flag or any uh, bearish evidence at this area to try and uh, take another short Aussie USD also where uh, we talked about this uh, 2618 trade in the last week um, overview because we had um, when we done the, the overview the market was up here and I said if this would be the last high we draw a Fibonacci retracement and we uh, start looking at the 618 for a possible buy so we got a great move here now impulse retracement 618 another impulse which uh, extended to 
27 Fibonacci is extension and um, we have the last four hour candle as a bearish engulfing this could be profit taking only so uh, I'm looking for a continuation move here so uh, look for a retest of this uh, neckline any retest toward that area could be a good level to look for bullish evidence and look for a buy for the continuation move here uh, New Zealand USD is a bit late to the party this one uh, did a correction but uh, it got stuck down here in this range so uh, for now this um, weekly pivot point area from last week is our level of uh, support so you need to keep an eye on that level uh, that is um, an important area and since uh, New Zealand is late to the party I think we may see a continuation either from this level uh, it would be much better to see another attempt toward this area to then start looking to buy so New Zealand USD is also by the dip and it could be the one that is late to the party um, if you compare what uh, Aussie USD done usually uh, New Zealand follow so um, if we go back to uh, Aussie and uh, USD we see that this impulse happened here and correction and a break above previous high uh, came here but New Zealand uh, USD we got uh, first impulse and we still uh, to be considered inside the correction and waiting for the uh, extension of that leg yeah so um, keep an eye on that uh, for uh, this market it is pretty interesting area we know that this level is uh, the last line of defense so uh, possibility for continuation and on daily time frame you have a nice possible inverted head and shoulder the neckline is still not broken if this happen and we get the break then we should be in the trade for a long targeting this previous high on this market so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot uh, don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to add a comment and uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye bye.